Hi everyone, Samuel Boulanger, Technical Specialist at Microsoft. In this video, I'll show you how to quickly integrate ChatGPT and Microsoft Team using Power Automate. So at the end of this video, you'll be able to directly ask a question to ChatGPT from a channel in a team in Microsoft Team and share the access with any of your colleagues. So before starting, first let's look at the prerequisite. Obviously, you'll need to have access to Microsoft Team, but you also need to be able to create uh, new teams. If you don't, ask your administrator. Second, you will need Power Automate with the proper license as we will use a premium connector. So basically you can't use premium connector with the free plan or one of the Microsoft 365 license plan. And finally, you will need to create an account on beta.openai.com. Before starting, let's discuss the limitation of this method. So the first limitation is not related to the method, the method itself, uh, but is related to the current state of the OpenAI API. Right now, there's a token limitation of 4,097 token. So what does that mean? Uh, it means that if your question have a total of 250 tokens, for instance, and the answer is 4,000 token, both will add up and give you a total of 4,250 tokens, which will exceed the limit. The Power Automate will then return an error and fail, which means you won't get any answer in team. For more detail on how tokens are calculated, visit OpenAPI website. I'll put the link under the specific article in the video description. The second limitation is that this method don't keep the context. What do I mean by that? Is that if you ask a second question after the bot answered you a first time, he won't be aware of your initial question or even of his own answer. I have a couple of methods in mind to overcome these limitations, and I will probably do another video on the subject later. But in the meantime, if you have any ideas, don't hesitate to share them in the comments. Third and last is not really a limitation, but something you need to keep in mind is that you'll need to start all your prompt with a specific keyword. In, in uh, this specific power automate, we'll use chat GPT as the prompt. So all that being said, let's start with the configuration. Okay, so our first step is the easiest one. We will simply need to create a new team. So let's go in team, click join and create, create team from scratch. And we'll put it private for now. Call it chat GPT. And that's it. Obviously, if you don't have the right permission to create a team uh, chat, you'll probably have to ask your admin to give you the proper permission. And that was the easiest part. Next step, we will generate the API from ChatGPT so we can connect later on on the third step with our Power Automate. To do so, we'll navigate to openai.com, click on API, and then sign up. I will create a new account. Once your account is created, simply navigate to uh, your name at the top right there and click on View API Keys, and we will create a new secret key. And copy the key and keep it for later. We will use it in the last step, which is to configure our Power Automate. Okay, so now we're at the interesting part. That's where we will create our Power Automate and the magic will happen. That's the Power Automate that will query ChatGPT and send back the insert inside of Microsoft Team. To do so, let's navigate to make.powerplatform.com. Make sure you have the proper environment selected. Then click on Flows, New Flow, and we will create an automated cloud flow. Let's call it chat GPT team integration. And we'll use as a trigger a Microsoft Team trigger, we which trigger when a keyword is mentioned. In that case, it will be chat GPT. Let's click on create. We'll select the message type. In that case, it will be in the channel of the 
team we just created. So click on channel. And we will ask our flow to trigger when chat GPT is mentioned. So as I've said at the beginning of this video, there's some limitation that is you always need to use chat GPT to query chat GPT uh, using this specific flow. Then from there, we will add the team we just created, ChatGPT. And we will select the channel, which is general. So our flow will only trigger for the specific team and this specific channel. Then we'll want, we'll want to retrieve the specific of the questions that we just asked in Microsoft Teams. So we want basically to get the detail of this message that will trigger our flow. So let's look for Teams Connector, Microsoft Teams, and we will use this get message details action. We'll basically retrieve all the detail of the message that triggered our, our power automate. So for the message, we will refer to the message ID here, and we'll open this get message. The message type will be in a channel. Again, we will select our team, chat GPT, the specific channel, which is general in that case. Obviously, you can create another channel if you want, or rename this one. And finally, we will look for the parent message ID, which is reply to message ID here. Okay. Then we will, that's where we will query chat GPT. So we'll do so using an HTTP action. Let's search for HTTP. There we go. We will do a post. So we basically will post something to the API. And now just quickly, let's navigate back to the OpenAI website. And from there, we'll click on documentations. If you scroll down, you'll see API reference making requests. And that's where you'll get the detail on how to make a request to ChatGPT. So in that case, uh, here's the model we will use to query. So you have this content type that you need to pass and the authorization with the bearer and your API key that we generate in the prior step that you will need to use to uh, query ChatGPT from the HTTP request. So the content type is application JSON. So you can just copy past or, or type it, uh, whatever you like. So our URL is api.mnai.com. Our headers will be the content type and authorization. So let's enter content type and the authorization. From there, you will need your API key. So it needs to be bearer space, and then you'll copy your API key. Now we will need to enter the JSON um, with the body of our request, okay? So again, if you navigate to the API documentation and you go to completions and create completions, you will see this example of uh, creating a completion for a provided prompt with the parameters. In that case, we will use this one. So you can simply copy paste it. And we will change our prompt here with the detail of the message we just got in the prior step. So let's get the body of our message detail. And finally, we'll, we'll change this max token to at least 2000 because if we let it to seven, you won't be able to ask it questions with uh, Ireland than seven character. We'll let the temperature as it is, and we're done with that part. Now for the last part, we will reply in Microsoft team. So let's look for team again. And we will reply in the channel. Reply with a message in the channel. We'll post it as a flow bot and we will post post in channel. The message ID will be 
the initial parent message from our initial message that trigger our flow. So reply to message ID. Again, we'll select the team, channel, and the message will be the answer to our HTTP request. So if you select the whole body of your HTTP request, you will receive this answer, uh, which is not exactly what we want because it includes all the, um, the answer itself and it's a bit hard to digest. So to only extract the text answer, only the text part of uh, the API answer, we will create an expression. And I will add this expression in the video detail so you can just copy paste it. So it's body, HTTP, choices, and text. So basically what we're doing is we're extracting the text out of this, the body of the HTTP request. So we'll just click on okay, save, and that's it. We're done. We're ready to test our flow. Let's test it manually. And now let's go in Microsoft Team and see if it works. Now we're in our chat GPT team in the general channel. Now let's just query chat GPT. Don't forget to start with chat GPT. And let's see what the answer is. There you go. So that's a really interesting answer. But now you know how to uh, query ChatGPT from Microsoft Teams. So you can give access to your colleague if you want to. You can just play around with ChatGPT. Just keep in mind the different limitation I, I mentioned at the beginning of the video. If you have any questions, as always, just leave a comment and I'll be more than happy to try to help. If you like my video and you want to see more of them, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.